Races all over the U.S. have yet another victory. Moments ago, strategically timed to be buried in news about the stimulus payout for taxpayers. The U.S. Department of Justice quietly announced the cops who executed little 12-year-old Tamir Rice did no wrong when they killed the sixth-grade boy playing with a toy gun in an Ohio park six years ago. Not sure why it took so long to decide that these two cop gangmen who killed Tamir within two seconds of arriving to a call by an old white man who called 911 because a black child was playing in the park. The feds say Timothy Lohman and another thug didn't violate Tamir's constitutional rights because cop gang members are permitted to use deadly force when they deem necessary. Therefore, the Justice Department ruled they could not say whether, one, Tamir Rice was not reaching for his gun, and two, that the killers thought Tamir Rice was reaching for his gun, despite the cops' consistent statements to the contrary. They say this video footage is grainy and doesn't show all of the incident well enough. Lohman was fired in 2017 not for executing a child playing in the park, but because he lied about his employment history when he applied to the Blue Lives Matter gang.